And we are back. Episode number three, guys. Thanks for being here. Um, so look, we finally made it out of the mountains. We came down to a little place to camp called Horseshoe Overlook, right? We, we just arrived back to civilization. We went to the town of Valentine, right? Just for the first time. And we got into a huge fight in the middle of the street. Arthur was so going so crazy that he almost killed a man. Um, and we, we were supposed to be laying low, which clearly um, that's not happening. So let, let's go ahead and just see what else we're going to get into here in Valentine. Pinkertons are after us. And we have a, a war going on with a rival gang, the O'Driscolls. So um, let's go. Oh, hello. Behind you, ma'am. Hello. My horse, right? Is that my guy? Yeah. What's up, buddy boy? Can I, um, can I feed this horse? Pretty sure this is horse food, right? No. Oh, go to horse. Oh, okay. I can feed him these. Give him some oat cakes. Good job. He'll probably like that. Appreciate you, buddy. Oh, look, he's taking a big fat crap. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to check the map quickly. We got a question mark here in Valentine. And oh, wow, quite a few, actually. Reverend Swanson was down by the tracks from last time. Leopold Kieran, that's the guy we, we kind of we captured. Hosea and Uncle. Oh, okay, so we got a lot to do. But since we're here, let's go check out this um, question mark in town. Um, like I, I, I'm definitely interested in this storyline, but I'm actually I'm not in a rush. Uh, I just want to really enjoy this game Partner. and um, see what happens. But we might be uh, banned from the bar. Hey there, partner. Hey, partner. Right. You, it gives you the option to rob and antagonize him. Hey, Give me a let me see that ugly mug. Give me something. You got a big mouth on you. Oh, look, he's mad. Oh, damn, All right, simmer down. Dry Save yourself when I get a drink. Well, I'm right. All right, let's hitch it up here. Can we hitch here? Yeah. And we got the question mark inside this Give little. Um... Oh, it's a saloon. Kern Saloon. All right, let's see. Whoa! I don't not think on, it was necessary sir. to, to <laughs> bust in like that. What really happened at Sylvia Saloon back in '76? Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history, done and dusted. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. Never he heard of him. killed 14 Look at him. men He's in a, a fight drunk. at Luzi Hollow. What are you wow. waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a <laughs> god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, <laughs> you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. <laughs> Once upon I like, a time. I like that. I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, 
Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't what? believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot them? It <laughs> does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. But here are some other flop house. Okay, so we got a side mission, side quest. But let's inspect these photographs real quick. Okay. Oh, whoops. I mean, I didn't mean to put them away. So this is Black Bell. Okay, the Grand Dame of the Gunslingers. Married six times to six men. Gamblers, robbers, robbers and outlaws, never divorced. Dresses in her widow's weeds. Sole remaining survivor of the Coulter Tobin gang. Outlawed after a robbery in Rhodes, private contract. Last reported sighting near Blue Water Marsh. Okay. So that's one. That's Black Bell. Nobody came. And we got Billy Midnight. Let's see where where we can find him. Hi, Mister. Road Hi. Station. Ask for him there. Okay. So we'll have to find a place called Rhodes. And go to the the station there. Who is this? Flaco Hernandez. Hideout, west of Coulter. D oh, he's up in the mountains. Wanted in eight states. Runs with a gang. Okay. So he's he's going to be a pretty dangerous guy. And uh, let's see this other one. Emmett Granger. Okay. He's interesting looking. Keeper of Hogs near Flat Iron Lake. Okay. We'll go track these guys down um, at some other time. Um, for now. What? Get on the horse. For now, I say we go take a little ride. Go see uh, Swanson down here. Oh, who's this? Oh, is that Emmett Granger? So he's on... Oh, wow, okay. Oh, there's a job even further down. I don't even see Javier. He's he's down there. Dutch told us to try and rescue Sean. Okay, we got Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Emmett Granger. Okay, so they're marked on the map. Okay, so I can go do these little side missions at any time. Look, how big is this map? This is enormous. Okay. Um, let's let's go see what the rev is up to. Giddy up. Oh wow. Okay, so. This is the first time, you know, really we've had freedom in this game. Everything's been really driven through chapter one to kind of, you know, it's kind of like a tutorial chapter. Look at that scenery. That is amazing. Can you imagine? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Can you imagine living during these times? Late 1800s, early 1900s. Somewhere in, you know. North is like in Ohio or something. Maybe, maybe the Dakotas, yeah. these mountains. Civilization was just getting a start in the north. I think the south, yeah, in the late 1800s, the south was uh, pretty powerful as well. 
It was after the Civil War. Oh yeah. I think this is like the Dakota. Look at these plains with these like late mountains. This game looks incredible. Even just to ride around. Hold on, where's my hat? Do I have a hat? Did I loot? Okay. Can't be riding around no horse without a hat. Hey, come here. Come here. Oh, mm. Come on. What's this oh, guy up to? Now. I need to focus. Lord have mercy. No. Oh. <laughs> What? <laughs> Shit. What? Did you guys see that? He was he was doing something to his horse. Must have something stuck in his uh in his foot, and they kicked him and killed him. Took some items off the body. Sorry, buddy. I don't know what else to tell you. What, I got a minus something there? Why did I get a minus? I didn't kill him. You can't, you can't take stuff yep. off a dead body. Unless they're bad guys. <laughs> Either way, that's hilarious, man. Hey, that's the kind of crazy thing that can just happen messing with these horses. Okay, we're getting close now. Hey, there. Hey there, mister. Okay, Swanson's in here somewhere. Hey, puppy. Oh, that was my horse. You're all right, boy. I didn't actually hitch him. Here, how do I just hitch him? Okay, there we go. I don't want to run away and get hit by a train or something. Um, be right back, buddy boy. There, boy. Oh, I can study him. I don't even know what kind of horse he is. Tennessee Walker. Decent speed. Oh, about mid speed, mid excel. Standard handling. Okay. So not not the greatest. Oh shh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was a complete accident. I just I just punched my horse and it kicked me. Oh my gosh, look at my, my health is almost... I lost my hat, I can't pick it up, pick it up. Oh, hold on. That horse is wild, man. I mean, I didn't, in all fairness, I didn't mean to punch him. Okay, anyways. Reverend Swanson. Here, Reverend? <laughs> Swanson, you hear me? Oh, are you stalking me? Go in here. This is flat neck station. Come on. What's the hold up? Hello, doing, sirs. Man? Hello. Mister? Nice people around here. Maybe not. Anyway, didn't mean to disturb you folks. Bye then. Beautiful bit of country, huh? That a fact. Yeah. Stay safe out here. Bye yeah. then. Where's the Swanson character? The... Okay. Mr. There he is. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Is the priest your drunk? God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? The priest about? is drunk. I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I'm free. I am free. You don't seem free, He's friend. Drunk. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. 
Look at him, he's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Oh, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone kill reason. these guys. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or deal with business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. <laughs> How's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. Okay, we're gonna you play some poker. Yeah, let's let's sure. take that money. Let's, let's take that hands. money. Well, sit yourself down then. Reverend's crawling outside, probably to vomit. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Uh. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. Yeah, fortunate for you. All right, what do we got? So, uh, you two know each other anyway. Queen 10. Don't seem okay. like like this to friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're up the amount a bit. I guess it's something like that. Can we play? Good. Hmm. He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's Ooh. drifted a little in recent years. I got well, two queens. A challenge to all of us. Two queens. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand oh, yeah. up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey. I'm putting this up. Thirty cents. After that. <laughs> you win. He's in. I got two queens. Feel He's a good decent about it. fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time too. Mm. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. I'm just gonna it check. is a game after all, Mister. Check, check. check. All right. Flip the last card. Let's see what we got. Ooh, I got two tens, two queens. Let's, let's put it up another 50 cents. There. He's in two. Mm. All right. I got I got two two pairs. Have a look at these. Pile of crap. Yep. Not looking good. Yes, yes. Give me yes. your money. Give me your money. For Christ's sake. Come on. <laughs> oh, this is a whole little side game. We just play poker. Oh, so there's a. Damn it! Well, next time. If I win I five hands, you worry about your own game. Then I get some kind of um, bonus or something. Wish you'd left some booze for us. I'm parched. Now we got a game going. All right, let me take all you guys' money. We got eight, ten. I'm just gonna raise it up to twenty. Up to thirty cents just to go. start with. Call. Okay. Huh. Oh, they all called me. All right. Two six nine. Check. How about that? Hold on. I got eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'll call that. Oh. He's folding. What we got next? With the ace. All in. I'm going all in too. Yep, all in. Let's see then. Oh. Oh, you gotta be joking. <laughs> wow. Good for you. I'm trying to call him. What the hell? I had that. Well, gentlemen, <laughs> yeah, I did end up winning. <laughs> oh, hell. <laughs> You're one lucky son of a bitch. You I know did that? Well, I I'm called sure him. You're a son of a bitch, but lucky? <laughs> I ain't so sure. Come on, you. Let's move along. Where is he? Who? The Reverend. Where'd he go? I don't know. Ah, oh, shit. Uh -oh. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, so we became kind of friends Reverend. in the end. Reverend Swanson! 
Where'd you go? This guy, he had drawn it too. Hey, you. Have you seen a priest? What's your problem? Have you seen a priest all drunk and crazy? Leave me alone. Don't make me shoot you. Shoot me? Why would you shoot me? Have you seen a priest? Yes, he went that exactly, way. Exactly, bro. Angry jackass. What? Okay. Run away then. He went this way. Put my horse. Get my horse to meet me down here. Oh, there he is. Get your hands off him. I didn't say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you suck. Of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Okay. Come on. Oh, cut his face. I'll kill you both. And this dude is tough. You're going down. Oh. Oh my God! You killed him. I'm gonna keep the law on you. Oh no. Can't let this eyewitness with you. Hey you! Get back here! Oh my god! Not gonna call the law on me. Uh, now what? Where's Reverend? That Reverend go. Oh man. He's getting me. I just killed two people for this. <laughs> because of this priest, man. Okay. Look, I know I got some negative stats there, but that guy was going to get the law on me. He should have just minded his own business. Where's he at? Down here. Oh, no. He's wandering on the track. Where's my horse, man? Don't kick me again. Let's see where this reverend is. Come on! A friend! It's just a simple mistake! You can... Still be s saved! Huh? What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place. And what stay? Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you oh, train bastard! <laughs> Train's coming! Get it. Come on! No way. Where's my horse at? Oh man. This Reverend's an idiot. Thank you, sir. Oh, oh, oh no, you don't! What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I was a maniac. different. <laughs> He's got an addiction. Let's get you home. Home. Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret, who's Margaret? But <sighs> <laughs> oh, can I just leave him here? Let him sleep it off. I guess Arthur's responsible. Let me stow him. Take him back to the to the base. All right. All right, Rev. A flush of diamonds. 
Oh, someone, someone is seeing a dead body down there. Can't be no witness for me. It cannot be a witness that saw me. This guy? Sorry, but I can't, I, I can't let that slide, you know what I mean? You're about to go tell the law on me for defending myself. the little like music effects in the background I think we're, we're about back at the at the um, camp now maybe not can't be too far oh yeah here we go what are you mumbling about now Pitch him here. Thanks, buddy. Get this drunken fool. Where's his bed at? Well, I was wondering when he'd show up. <laughs> oh, he's showing up. Uh, excuse me. Why are you just gonna walk us right in my way? Is that John? Thumbs up. You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Rain almost killed him. Almost killed both of us and my horse. What is that, John? How you feel? Strong, sure. Not strong enough to work. <laughs> Arthur. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Arthur loves to talk. Is there food going here? From those deer still? I can take some stew. Let's eat. Get my health up. Okay, well, I'll just do the K mission since I'm here. And since I did, um, you know, capture him. You got some speaking to do of your own. Not that old gang of yours. I said, I told you, I don't know nothing. That's what I thought. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I, I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I've just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horse shit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on. Ah, uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Oh, man. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna call Oh, he's gonna the cut his ball. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, they're gonna cut him off. This is brutal. The happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you kidding me, right? Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up. And you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay then, partner. Uh, 
Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Man. Yeah, he was. So he should have. I ain't no O'Driscoll. He should have said to begin with. Sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, but I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You gonna pay your buddies our respects. That should be interesting. That's the code. That's what he says. Come on. I'm okay. To him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right. I'll leave. All right. Let's go. Bill, Arthur, John, and Aaron. Sharon Saddle with an old Driscoll. Who the fuck? Let's go. Can we How go many faster? Times I gotta say, I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. God damn. You smell like one too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might. I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Uh, hey. It hey. was an order. If, if I got my bearings, it's over here. But we got some throwing yeah. knives now. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason and hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, O'Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what you all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. <laughs> Bill! Nah, that you was still crazy. got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Right at the forefront of it. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the O'Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. Interesting. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law, nature. You're out for yourself. See, this is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live, free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is, Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, wow. we can end years This scenery is amazing. 
Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. Okay. Settle this like we know how, okay? Makes sense. Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. He, he better not be leading us into an ambush. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. Okay, so they're way out here in the this middle of nowhere. It. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Where are throwing knives? I could use the bow on these guys. Horse cargo. Where are these knives at? Okay, got him. But I also got the bow. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just over the ridge. Bill's obsessed with the balls. Okay, get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you strangers? Yep. And Cormo Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, Three of them. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. You got him? I got him. Uh, you know what's really quiet? Do you want me to take him? I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay. Put a work. Kidding me, man? Man, I did not expect to get into this beast. There's people behind us, too. Okay, right, I gotta focus on this guy. We got him. Oh, okay. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Got 
Okay. Quite an intense shootout. A lot of stuff to loot. Bodies to loot. Let's see. Do they have it? Oh, they got a lot of ammo. Nothing else. A couple bucks. Okay. We need all the money we can get. Everybody's looting bodies. Okay. I guess there's a, another body over here I missed. Oh, he's gonna get him? Alright. Go in the cabin. Kids. Thank you. He said the kid saved us. No way. Como Drisco. Yeah, like he's yeah. proven his loyalty. You set us up. Come here. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Drisco ain't here. He was here. I swear. I, sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. Good point. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. So? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Fair Give me enough. A break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash then? Fair what enough. cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. <laughs> you tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> yeah, right you are. Okay, so... We'll just search it for anything. Take some shells. Biscuits. Bourbon. Okay. A 
Oh, they got some decent stuff in here. What's over here? Anything? Lockbox. Ginseng elixir. Okay. What else you guys got over here? Take money? Yeah, I'll take the money. One dollar. Laying on the floor. Anything over here? Money clip. Oh, there's more. Guy must have left in a hurry. When the shooting started, he must have bounced on his boys. Okay, and you say there was some money in the chimney? I see a shotgun on top of the chimney. Grab that. Ah, oh, I uh, drop my gun. I can maintain it. Oh, okay, let's clean it. I might be able to clean it up into a nicer. Oh, respectable now. Looks good. Oh. We search the chimney. At least you got something tucked away. Six hundred dollars. That's a lot. I don't want to leave my repeater in here though, because I got I got over a hundred dollars out of that myself. Where's my horse at? Come here. I need to put some weapons on you. So where were we? We're way oh, okay. So we're north. Um, wonder if it's Fort Wallace. Wonder if it's worth. Let's let's go see if we. Oh, that's a long ways around. Wait. Probably go go down and see Javier. Yeah. Be a bit longer of a journey. Wow, the weather elements are amazing. I hear like Dogs or wolves? Oh, what? Bruh. Oh, there's a predator. How many of them are there? Are there any more? Okay. Jeez. That was, that was unexpected. Well, let's skin it. Let's get some wolf pelts. I hope they don't run over mine. Okay, look. Oh. Investigating what? Damnation is all this. For Christ's sake. Murder? No murder? I mean, that guy's crazy. There was no murder. The false witness. I didn't. I didn't kill that guy. The wolf did. These people jump to conclusions out here. Oh, what's this guy? Don't do it. Ah, shit. Another one. Can I put another one on this horse? Yes. Okay, 
I gotta go catch this guy. Why are these people so crazy, man? Got it. I only had to kill them because they were about to testify against me falsely. But I, I did not kill that guy. He killed the wolves. Man, Wild West. It can it can get real crazy out here. Evening. Hey, Mister. It can get real crazy out here in the Wild West. This is Valentine at night, huh? Looks really good, but I cannot stick around right now. How you doing? Pretty quiet. Well, hey, partner. Whoa, hey, whoa. You stay away from that woman, you son of a bitch. Just a little peg on that drink. Think I'll have another drink and then go see your wife. So that's what you do, huh? Sleep with another man's woman. I aim to be made a fool of. Howdy. Okay, boy. <laughs> this town is crazy. This is beef happening. That's how they handled it, though, back in the day. Just handled it like that. them we definitely want to avoid them great plans once a dead or alive okay so this must be where we came from before we went into the mountains we're risking a lot to come down here but i guess if if we gotta save our boy you know what i mean i'm gonna avoid people i'm just gonna go this way Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just keep hey. your eyes open. Hey. Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the Blackwater to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, mm. he got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean? There's someone sneaking up behind us. Bait. Well, they want to try them publicly. Gentlemen, okay. Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Scaldings, boys. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side and then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. Uh, rescue mission. 
to be interesting. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Okay, boy. Right, here we go. That from the map. Head that way. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. There, look. Oh, there's the boat. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Oof. Oh, sorry there, Charles. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. <laughs> what happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. I Everyone love all the different backstories. Oh, of everybody. we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> Anyway, we should keep it down. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up. Come on. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Hmm. Sun's starting to come up, so we're gonna lose the cover of darkness here. up there okay is that their camp down there hey they've pulled into shore all right let's take a closer look binoculars gentlemen these bounty hunters I don't know too much about our skeleton boys so far but I hear they're a big crew wild built some reputation in the last year or two that looks like Sean to me certainly kicking up enough of a fuss yeah <laughs> that's definitely Sean oh they're giving him a decent kicking well you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them oh yes they're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Okay. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Oh, Follow me. Okay. Alright, I got the throwing knives, I got the arrows. Okay. 
should do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Sounds like a good Crouch idea. Down out of sight. Take out your knife. Stay here. Yeah, I'm already on my way. Hey, hey, hey. Don't cross until he hasn't distracted. Excuse me, dear brothers. My wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. She's taken a turn. Where is she? A terrible turn. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose. God damn it, Arthur! A pleasure as always, gentlemen. You were supposed to take the one on the right, bro. I think you have it from here. Come on, let's get up there. Alright, let's see what what do they got. Halfway up the canyon to deal with. Okay, lean all those boots you got there, eh? Those are very nice. Come on! We need to get past the sons of bitches! I don't know how he saw us. I saw him, he was about to put me to rest. I see Charles up there. I know this is no time to loot, but let's get up up here.
man. These, these gunfights are serious. there myself all right let me cut him down that's a good good gun battle you know you're a lot less ugly from that other angle Arthur come on do we get a hug Arthur a warm embrace for a lost brother now found you know, nothing means more to me than this game. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can mm -hmm. really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles pissed you right separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <coughs> Have I got stories for you? Fair yeah. enough. I can't wait. <coughs> I imagine y'all miss me a lot. But fear not. The joy is back in your lives now. Tomahawk. So I got a tomahawk. All right, well, let's see... What can I take from here? I guess maybe just loot all these bodies. Get quite a few items. I don't want to hang around too long. Because, as you know, there are patrols about. But I'll, I'll see what I can get real quick. Inside here, do they got anything? Uh, let me get out of here. There's people coming. I can see threats on the map. Let's go. Oh yeah, there's like four lawmen over there. And I gotta keep going north to get out of here. Oh, okay. We're actually, we're already out of the danger zone. Okay. I just got to keep riding. Yeah. Where's that main road? Oh, go this way. The bridge. Oh, that's a huge bird. Everything's back to normal now. Yeah. 
close, close to base camp again. Almost there. You ain't joining in? Uh, I think I'll leave the celebrating to the experts. Oh. We're back home now. All right, guys. Well, that. Is the end of episode number three um we got quite a few things going on now um i'm really excited to get into episode four and i'm probably going to jump right in shortly so um anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode let's enjoy ourselves we having a party maybe just a little one great don't worry about nothing mrs grimshaw we Mr. have McGuire this camp running like clockwork. Come on. Let's have 